What's up guys? I wanted to show you behind the scenes how we're shooting and producing a live event on Zoom events. It's really exciting. We had about 750 people sign up for a virtual event that we're hosting. And Mike is here producing the production with vMix. He has Zoom events running right here. And it looks like there's about 200 or 300 people watching in the Zoom events. And that's because Zoom events allows you to have multiple tracks. So there's some people in a lobby networking and hanging out. There's some people in the webinar room and then we actually have breakout Zoom meeting rooms where everyone gets to kind of meet each other and chat. So we've got about 750 people in our virtual event. This is the broadcast room here. Mike is busy and nicely allowing me to go in here. But I also wanted to show you guys our live streaming studio over here. So um, you can see here that this is on stage. Lindsay's handling social. How's everything going? Good. So show us what this is, Lindsay. This is the Zoom events platform. Yes. So, so I am in charge of seeing what people are saying. I can go into any of the breakout rooms through Zoom. Um, oh, so you were in the webinar and now you're joining the Zoom meeting. Yeah. So there we are. Wow, really cool. Tess is doing the same thing with her laptop here. And then this is kind of the main broadcast desk where I usually hang out. And I have the ability to see two monitors over here. And both of these confidence monitors are set to show NDI video from the main broadcast PC. But there are times when I'd like to have my eyes on multiple things. So for example, sometimes I'll have like the Zoom meeting output on one screen and maybe the broadcast output going to YouTube and Facebook on another. And here is the Zoom meeting in one of the presentations. I also will sometimes run vmix for my own presentations now i know that a lot of people probably like to use powerpoint or maybe a zoom screen share but using vmix or obs with a virtual camera gives you a lot of flexibility as you can see here i was showing some different video clips and i was showing um some powerpoint presentations and picture and picture things along with my own camera feed here which this is my camera feed here. This is the PTZ Optics Studio Pro camera. You can see it has a little light on top that I have on to just to kind of fill out the lighting here. It's powered over ethernet and it ha supports multicast so we can have one NDI video feed for this beautiful broadcast computer, but our network also supports it to be pulled into additional computers over NDI. Um, looking upwards here, you can see we have a truss for lighting. We have lights all throughout the stage. This is one of my favorite lights here. This is called the D, no, I'm sorry, the Chauvet DJ Intimidator. And we have a Gobo uh, custom built here to display on the wall. Um, and this just gives you, this is a cool little device that we put in the studio. This is called a Schmurl, and it shows the live amount of Facebook likes that we have. So just some kind of cool stuff here. Um, we are currently using the PTZ Optics Move 4K cameras here, and these are auto tracking cameras. So generally, Mike will set up his um, system with one auto tracking camera to follow the presenter on stage. And then he'll use one or two other cameras to pan, tilt, and zoom. So that's just a little setup of just kind of behind the scenes, down and dirty of what the Zoom event looks like. I have some other videos in the comments below in the description that kind of deep, deep dive into Zoom events and why we use it. But I just wanted to show kind of behind the scenes what it's like here. It's, we're actually not live. We're in intermission so there's actually other speakers coming from all over the world and we actually get a break it's actually really nice honestly when we live stream to youtube or facebook and only live stream to youtube and facebook and we don't have zoom you worry sometimes that the uh the live stream might go down or the power might go out 
or something could happen, right? But with Zoom events, it's in the cloud. So even if the power went out for this entire building, we have employees in other states that have different internet connections and, and can fill in for us. So having the majority of your event hosted in the cloud really takes um, the pressure off in a lot of ways. And so when there's speakers coming in from California and other places in the world, we can just kind of relax and, and it, it's really a different feeling. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. So if you're the first time you're watching Stream Geeks channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Hit the like button to let us know that you like uh, videos kind of behind the scenes like this and let us know if you're doing a virtual event just like this. I'll show you guys one last thing before we go. Here's the YouTube here. So Mike's got YouTube, vMix, and Zoom all kind of at his fingertips here. He's using a stream deck, as you can see. And if there's something you want to see or learn more about, let us know in the comments below. All right, bye.